efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. CCM County College of Morris Athletics are on. CCM baseball. CCM volleyball. CCM basketball. Oh yeah, it's on. CCM's women's soccer. It's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball. It's on. CCM golf. It's on. Esports. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCM County College of Morris. Go Titans! At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family-owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at SussexMeat.com. If your system is older than 10 years, you need to see this. Chances are your home is probably not heating up like it used to. Which begs the question, are you just waiting for your system to fail on you? It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means paying way more of your hard earned dollars to have your system serviced. Which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently. So you can get back to enjoying your home again. You've got my promise. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website icshvac.com Hey, don't you just love it when Morris Sussex Sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award winning service that brings you play by play commentary live instant replays cool cinematic graphics real time scoreboard fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. Goal. We reset, and T.J. Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, good for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score! And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, full check, gets the strike. 
Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Aha! And welcome to a jam-packed and electric Pequannock High School here in Ponta Plains, New Jersey as Morris Sussex Sports presents the North One Group Two Semifinals Boys Basketball as it's the host Pequannock Golden Panthers who are the number two seed under their veteran coach Jeff DeBell who just won his 300 game. They come in a record of 23 and three. They won the NJAC Independence Division and made it to the finals of the Morris County Tournament. Take on the number six Ramsey Rams who come in a record of 18 and seven out of the Big North and Patriot Division in Bergen County, led by their first-year head coach and former longtime assistant Mark Christensen. Good game here tonight, a trip to the finals on the line. The winner of tonight's game will play the winner of the other semifinal going on as we speak, as number nine, Demers, goes to number four, Mawa. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Cleary. Before we get into this game, we want to thank some special sponsors for getting this game on here at this jam-packed Pequannock High School. We want to thank Ramsey Athletic Director Kevin Sabella. Kevin's always been great about helping out more Sussex Sports when they played Hackettstown in soccer and played the Quantic in soccer, soccer in the section final. Thanks a lot, Kevin, for all your help. Green Nature is the company to call when quality matters. Green Nature Landscape Design provides high-quality landscaping and outdoor living design services to northern New Jersey. Welcome to their address as they just turned off the lights on us. GreenNature.net. We also want to thank IY Basketball. It's a shooter's world. Let's get after it. Let Kent personally help you become a great shooter. Text Kent at 201-787-3004 to start the process. IY Buckets all day. Also want to thank our friends at Pequannock Deli. They helped us out when they Pequannock played Ramsey in boys soccer. Fresh sandwiches and breakfast. They cater all occasions. Check them out at PequannockDeli.com. Cole's Landscape, your long... Excuse me, your lawn shows your neighbors, friends, and family that you take pride in your property. Fortunately, we're experts in that field, and we don't mind letting you take all the credit. Go to coleslandscaping.com. And the CeeLo Group. The CeeLo Group is thrilled to support the Pequannock Golden Panthers tonight. The CeeLo Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. To learn more, go to thecelogroup.com. We're going to listen to the national anthem. Jacked up. Hey, we also want to thank Brian Celepena, the outstanding athletic director here at Pequannock. My old buddy Brian taking care of us. We appreciate that. And I am Dan Cleary, and I'm going to bring in my partner tonight, Josh Willis. Josh, I think the fans are fired up a little? Uh, no, not at all. No, absolutely. <laughs> this place is at capacity. There are fans out here about half past five for a seven o'clock game. So let's talk about this game. We'll talk about the visiting team first, Ramsey. First year head coach, Mark Christensen. This is a program that's won, before, there was no tournament last year. They've won three of the last five section titles and winning it in 2020. This is one of the best group two programs in Bergen County. They went on the road to get here, knocking off Jefferson 57-53. Uh, Lucas Ancilio led the way with 20 points. They beat Lenneby Valley in the first round. This is a well-rounded team. 
And really, you could say that for a lot of these big North teams. Uh, Ramsey, a lot of other teams around uh, are, it, uh, out in that area have, uh, have really had tough, grueling schedules, and they've earned the right to be in the game like this. Okay, Paquanik in the home white. Ramsey in the visiting blue uniforms. Starting lineup for Ramsey, number zero, zero Danny Veenstra. Terrific defender, and he's going to go play at Western New England for the great football program Ramsey has. And Paquanik's going to jump out the early 2-0 lead. Finn Powers with the bucket for Paquanik. Rounding out the starting lineup for the Ramsey squad. Michael Stone, number two. Junior guard leads the team in shooting from three-point range at almost 50%. They work it inside, they kick it out. Luca Sanso leading the team in scoring at 13 points a game. He grabs about six boards a game and he's second in the team in steals. He's number 30. Number four, Connor Farrell. Senior forward, seven points, three boards a game. And Michael Bernie is 42, sophomore, four points, three points a game. Now this Pequonic team, Josh, we saw in the county tournament, they lost a tough one to Del Barton in the finals. They beat a good Randolph team, the game we did together. They can beat you inside and outside. We'll give you their starting lineup. David Wrigley also tough. Number four. He has a bucket three-pointer. And Ramsey takes a three-point lead. A two-one-point lead, 3-2. Wrigley Osi, big guy, 6-5. Scores 14 again, 10 rebounds. Ethan Sutherland going to play at Moravian. He runs the show, number five. He's got 14.6 a game. As Ramsey looks to push and the lay-in, no good. Rebound pulled down by Wrigley Osi. Finn Powers, number 10, nine points a game, great three-point shooter as well. Ben Riker, the six-foot-ten guy down low. He's such a presence down there. Uh, ben, nine, 10 points a game, nine rebounds. He's got 95 block. And then a budding superstar, number 23, Carson Coluco, 14.5 points a game, six rebounds. And his dad, Kent, who's one of the sponsors tonight, scored 2,000 points in his high school career at Mawa. So we got to see this Pequonic team. They can beat you so many ways as going to the line right now is David Riglioso. Yeah, David uh, uh, Riglioso had a great, uh, a, a great Morris County tournament. Um, he can get you in a lot of different ways, inside, outside the driving kick. And then of course you got Ben Riker, the big man underneath. Do not let him get rebounds if you're Ramsey. They'll hit one of two, we're tied at three. So this Ramsey team battle tested as is Pequonic. Pull up jumper, Sansillo no good. Stay here with the Rams. They swing it over back to Sansillo. Reichard's there, he's gonna alter a lot of people's plans down low. Mm -hmm. Pequonic out in the manned defense right now, it looks like. Yes indeed it is. This is Veenstra, gonna play football in college. We're gonna have a foul on the screen. Yep, uh, illegal screen. The, uh, the shooting guard, the offensive player was not, uh, he did not have a seat planted, offensive foul. First foul of the game, and it will be on number 42, Michael Bernius. This is Sutherland, going to Moravi, he does it all. This whole team is so well-rounded. In the game we did against Randolph, Finn Powers had a great game. He sure did. Um, Suddenly, with the pull-up jumper, can't get the go. Rebound pulled down by Sancilio. And took a big team effort against Randolph. You know, everyone had to be on their, on their best play against that Rams squad. As we said, Reichert at 6'10 is an imposing figure, but Riglioso is so strong and physical. Kind of protects Ben down there. Gives him two great presents down low. Swing it back out, spotting up. No, they'll swing it over. Good passing by the Rams. Jumper no good by Connor Farrow. And Finn Powers will bring it up. Finn was on part of that great soccer team that Coach Zumo had this year. Lost to Ramsey in the section finals, the game you saw on the Morris Southern Sports Network. He had the big assist when they knocked off Newton in the semifinals. So again, Ramsey, one of the best group two programs in the Bergen County, always have been. So Paquanic Ooh. looking to win their first, or get to their first final since 2011, and rolling in with the basket there is Connor Farrell. Yep, uh, Paquanic was a little out of control last possession. Was able to t uh, turn that into a, uh, Ramsey turned that into a bucket on the other end. Spotting up, Sutherland knocks it down. This is a team with 184 three-pointers. Do not leave these guys open behind the three-point line. Just cannot do it. 
All of them will take it, even Riker if he has the opportunity. No, it's not a shot. He makes his money down low. Sure does. Veenstra, nice bounce inside. Riker does his job. Nine times out of ten, whoever gets the ball that deep is going to go up, but not with 6'10 standing there. Uh, no. Bernius yeah. is, and Bernius isn't exactly small. Well, it's two big men. Yeah. They're going to be bumping around, knocking Little. each other around down there. Off-balance jumper knocking it down a stone. A good movement out the ball to get that pass right at the elbow. 7-6 our score, 3.35 to go. Hey, folks, look at all the advertisers on, the, on both sides of the screen, but on the left side of the screen, those are all of our special sponsors tonight. We want to thank them. A big block. Good job by the Rams defense. They're always looking to push. Sancillo, he had the big game against Jefferson. Another long three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Sutherland. He'll bring it up for the Golden Panthers. Sounds like it was rushed. It was a little off to the right. This is Kaluko, the sophomore. That's his game. A little pull-up J. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Veenstra. And it looks like the Rams, they want to push. They sure do, and I think Every it's also time. I think it's also Dan gonna be a battle of the rebounds. Whoever wins his rebound battle is, is gonna have the best shot, obviously, to get the possessions to win the game. Foul on the floor, that'll be on Kaluko. Veenstra, as we say, gonna play football at Western New England University. And we talk about and we'll have a couple substitutions for Ramsey. Number one checking in, Robert First. First had a good game against Lenby Valley in their first uh, game in the States. Off the inbound, Sancillo for three, wow. all net. Well, he was wide open. He got lost in the corner, and that was nothing but nylon. Paquana got here. They played a, Paquanic, uh, played Pop the Lakes as number 15 seed. They made the trip across the Newark Pop the Turnpike over 23. 76-53, Powers had a big game. He had five three-pointers, finished with 17. Then Emlyn Park, the seventh seed, came to town. 71-40 victory. We had a timeout. And we got a timeout on the floor. Sutherland led the way with 21 points. Rigliosa had 12 and 10. Coluco 15 and 7. And Ben Riker, 7 and 8. This Pequonic team can fill it up. Obviously, they have they average about 66 points per game. The two state tournament games average 73 points. So Ramsey looks like they're going to want to run. So it should be an interesting to see how they both match up. It was definitely two different types of play styles right then. So you got one team that's content to play a track meet, and then you got a team like Aquanic who will work the clock a little bit, get the ball inside, do a little bit of driving kick, try and get uh, Ben Riker at the ball most of the time. But then if he gets double covered underneath the hoop, he can kick it out to his guys to shoot threes. So they'll chew up a little bit more clock, but Ramsey will like to run and gun. As we said, Ramsey, and it seemed like Ramsey and Pascal Kills who got knocked off by Demers, but unfortunately for Pascal Kills, they had some key injuries that happened in those games. And Demers, got to give them credit, they won the games. But uh, Pascal Kills and Ramsey have dominated this section over the years, over the last 10 years at least. All right, Rams will bring it up. 2.25 to go, this is Veenstra. Puts it on the floor, dumps it inside, and that'll be a turnover if Aquanic will get it back as they trail by four. Hey, and congratulations again to Jeff DeBell, the head coach from Paquantic. He got his 300th career win against Morris Knowles. Jeff played here. He was on the 88 team that won the last county title for Paquantic. He is a Paquantic Panther through and through. So congratulations to Jeff. Swing it over. Work it inside. Riglioso. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the go. And it'll go off Paquantic. Ramsey ball with exactly two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Yeah, Ben Riker couldn't, couldn't quite corral that rebound. Deflected off from underneath the hoop. Walking up is Robin First, the junior guard. Five points, three assists per game. Coming off the bench for Coach Christensen, the longtime assistant coach. Taking over to great Kevin McGuire, who did a great job with that program, leading the team to those section titles. Pull-up jumper, first no good. Rebound pulled down by Sutherland, and he'll bring it up. 1.38 to go. Sutherland gets the screen, thought about it, swings it over to Powers. Powers has a quick trigger if he gets the screen. Good defense by the Rams. That's what they've been playing all year. Powers wow. gets it to go, a nice move by Finn Powers. Wow, Finn Powers pivoted one way, stopped, dribbled, that pivot the other way, caught his defender in the air, found an open shot right underneath the hoop inside that two-foot area. As we approach a minute to go, 
Coach Christensen said they've been doing it with defense. And uh, he goes, we'll win tonight if our defense comes to play like it has, as they only allow 33 points to Lenape Valley. And a Ooh. block by Riker. Good hands by Ramsey will stay here, 52 seconds. Power spins, three, can't get it to go. Rebound put wow. back in. Good work on the boards there by Carson Coluco. Uh, good active hands, looking for that long shot. We're tied at 10. Great job by Coluco, just a sophomore. And that was a quick trigger from beyond the arc. Beenstrom pulls it back out. 27 seconds to go. Veenstra runs the show for Coach Christensen. Does a great job. 15 seconds. Obviously, the Rams are going to try to hold for one here in the first quarter. 10-10 our score. Veenstra has a little room. Kicks it out. Spotting up for three. And wow. knocking it down is Connor Farrow. And the first quarter is going to come to an end with Farrow hitting a huge three. And it's the six-seeded Ramsey Rams with a 13-10 lead over number two Paquanic here in the North Two Group Two semifinals. Live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network here at Paquanic High School. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908. 839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com Back alive here at Paquantic High School, second quarter action North 1 Group 2 semifinals Ramsey with the big three from Farrow and they have a 13-10 lead, Dan Cleary along with Josh Willis, want to thank Ramsey Athletic Director Kevin Sabella for helping us out Green Nature, the company to call when quality matters. Green Nature Landscaping, go to greennature.net. It's IY Basketball. Text Kent today, 201-787-3004. To start the process, IY Buckets all, IY buckets all day. Pequonic Deli, we cater for all occasions. Fresh sandwiches and breakfast, pequonicdeli.com. Coles Landscaping, coleslandscaping.com. And the CeeLo Group for, uh, provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. For learn more, go to thecelogroup.com. So a big three to end that first quarter for Ramsey from Connor Farrell. We'll see if that carries over here in the second quarter. Yeah, almost half of their points for Ramsey coming from beyond the arc. Sutherland will look to answer, and he does. So we are tied at 13. Sutherland with his second three of the game. Boy, that defender just got lost in the stars. He was wide open. Packed house. There's people looking through the windows here to watch this game. Yeah, we just show them the little ad card and get them to watch on Morris Sussex Sports. Absolutely. Yeah, our producer Paul came up with that great idea. That's why we pay him big bucks, right? So, if, yeah, exactly. If you're watching from the parking lot, hello, everyone. <laughs> they swing it over. Sancillo for three. <laughs> we knew this would be an evenly and hotly contested game. Good defense by the big man, Bernius. Yeah, he read that one like a book. Again, usually Reichert's a lot taller than the guys he covers, but Bernie is not too much shorter. It's going to be a good, fun battle to watch. When I think of big, man's from, big men from Ramsey, you've got to think of Sean Hansen playing at Cornell. I was reminiscent of Coach Christensen when they beat Jefferson to win the section title. Hansen grabbed the rebound with about two seconds left and hit an off-balance foul line jumper, all six foot ten of them to send them to the championship. Wow, and Ben Reichert's been in the paint for almost 10 seconds. Can't believe the refs haven't, ha haven't blown a whistle for that. Patience shown here, jumper no good, Reichert there. He gets the board, but you gotta give credit to Rigliosa with a great box out. It is a team sport. One person boxes out, allows the big man to get that board. 
We're talking to Christensen. Jefferson not happy when Ramsey comes to town. Joe DiGennaro as well as two tough ones. On the run out and the lay in. Can't get it oh. to go. Sutherland gives it up to Powers. Inside the oh. Riker and he drops it in. And he darn near committed an offensive foul on that run out in transition. Knocked the defender right over. Love that Riker didn't try to throw that down to get the crowd going. He said we need two and he put it in two. Very unselfish play. We're going to have a timeout. That'll give us time to thank all of our sponsors tonight. And they're big, huge. You see them in the left side of the screen. Green Nature, the company to call when quality matters. Green Nature Landscaping, design provides high quality landscaping and outdoor living design services to northern New Jersey. Go to greennature.net. IY Basketball, it's a shooter's world. Let's get after it. Let Kent personally help you become a great shooter. Text Kent at 201 787 3004 to start the process. IY Buckets all day. And our friends at Pequonic Deli, they sponsored a soccer game for us in the fall. And we want to thank them. Fresh sandwiches and breakfast we cater for all occasions. It's PequonicDeli.com. Coles Landscaping, your lawn shows your neighbors, friends, and family that you take pride in your property. Fortunately, we're experts in that field, and we don't mind letting you take all the credit. It's ColesLandscaping.com and the CeeLo Group. They're thrilled to support the Golden Panthers tonight. The CeeLo Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at CeeloGroup.com. All right, out of the timeout, Ramsey with the ball and a one-point lead. Here in the second quarter, winner will go to the championship. Short jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by Riglioso. Sutherland will bring it up. Another big board by Mr. Rigolio, so he's done that all season long. Yes, he has. This is one of the most well-balanced teams around. Suddenly, will spot up looking for a three. Can't get the go. Rams will get the rebound. Michael Stone. Wasn't much of a box out either on that long three. Got to expect a long rebound. Sean Hanson, a big part of two section titles. When he was a sophomore, he beat Jefferson. And in 2020, his senior year, they beat their arch rivals from Pascac Hills. From the corner... No good. Skying for the board is Riker. Boy, can you imagine if Ben Riker played, if Pequonic had a boys volleyball team, he'd be the, like, the superstar on that team. They work it into the big guy. He's very good at passing as well. It gives it up to Powers. Powers goes baseline, tries to send it in to Coluco, broken up there. Michael Stone, good defense by the Rams. Yeah, Darnier traveled underneath the hoop. It was a little bit out of control. Veenstra brings it up. Trying to keep this rowdy Pequonic fans under check. But Ramsey traveled well tonight, down 287. Again, I want to thank my man, Kevin Sabella, and my other man, Brian Silpena, the great ADs of both schools. Appreciate all their help. I've known Brian a long time and Kevin a long time. I remember when Kevin was the soccer coach, boy soccer coach at Riverdale. That's when I first met him a long time ago. They work it around this zone. They break the zone, and that's how you do it. You don't have to shoot threes all the time. Veench are in the middle. That was really crisp passing by Ramsey. Wait, I, I waited to get into, in, into a good shooter right at the free throw line. You can break zones that way. You don't have to shoot threes all the time. Powering up, Riglioso goes glass. Tip in, no good. And a great rebound pulled down there by Connor Farrow. Hit the big three to end the first quarter for the Rams. Well, he absolutely ripped that rebound out of the stars. Anytime you got a big man on you, you got to really work hard for those boards. They'll come out and play Sancillo. Good ball movement here by Ramsey. Veenstra again dumps it inside. He's doing a great job making great decisions on that high post. He's going to put it on the floor, swings it over, catch and shoot. No good by Farrow. Power is with the rebound. Veenstra had a really good no-look pass to set up that kick out to the uh, behind the three-point line. He's been really impressive early on. Ramsey and that man off the screen. Coluco, no good. Well, that shot was way off. Sancilio gets the board, and Ramsey brings it up. As they hold a three-point lead, 18-15, with just over two minutes remaining here in the first half, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. The winner will go to the section finals Monday night at the higher remaining seed. Top seed, Pascal Kills, was upset by Demarest. So if Aquanic wins, they will host no matter who wins the other game. We'll have a foul on the floor. As we said, the other game is number nine, Demarest, and number four, Mawa. Yeah, Dan, the tempo of this game is, has slowed to a halt for, for, uh, for Ramsey. They're used to 
running and gunning and getting out into the track and the offense that we said before. They did they've slow down. down. Good point, Josh, because they were running at first. Now it's being very deliberate. Second foul on Paquanic. And that was on Sutherland, his first. Sincilio doubled up. Tough shot. Can't get it to go. We'll stay here. That was off of Paquanic. That was really good defense to defend that, to contest that shot right underneath the hoop. Wasn't quite corralled by, um, uh, by Paquanic. So Ramsey will inbound. Always got to watch the inbounder on this. They won that the hard way last time. And in and out, wow. Veenstra, and the foul on the floor. Ooh. Good job by Veenstra. He's one of those guys you love having your team. He's a basketball player with the football mentality and body. Obviously going to continue his football career. He brings that intangible toughness, and he's not going to back down from anyone. That's crazy to think, Dan, that, foot, uh, that, uh, that basketball is not his first sport, obviously. He said it's football. Uh, Ram Ramsey had a great year. On the inbounds, off the glass, it's Farrow with another big bucket for the Rams. But Veenstra is such a heady player. This is Powers. And Ramsey, obviously, defense has been their calling card. Josh, they've held Paquanic, who's been averaging almost 70 points a game, to 15 points with 117 to go in the first half. Listen, Incredible. There's, there's an old adage that offense wins the games, defense will win the championships. But, you know, to a point, you know, you can hold his, uh, a team to uh, just a few points as you want, but you can't win if you can't score. And, and Paquanic's had a lot of trouble scoring the basketball this afternoon. Fouls on Stone, his first team second. Riglioso turns, jumper in the lane, gets it to go. Big basket there for Paquanic as they now trail by three with one minute to go, 20 to 17. Uh, Rigo Gugliosa caught his defender in the air, turned, rotated his body the other way, laid it right up and in to the left side. Ramsey being so patient in the second, hit, second quarter here after trying to run in the first, as Josh pointed out. And that'll play into McQuanick's hand. Just fewer Col possessions. Coluco is not out on him. No five count. Now the five count starts. Beach will bring it back out. We'll get another five count. That's just a heady play there. Hands it off. Sincil sees a lane. Little Euro step. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by number 33, Kyle Tomasovic, who checked in, who played very well in the game against Randolph. Coluco can't get it to go. We'll have a foul under the basket. No, I think about out of bounds. Yeah, so, they went over the hoop. So Tomaskovic in there at 33. He played well in that Randolph game we did. He sure did. A lot of people played well in that Randolph game. Yeah, they certainly did, but it just showed the depth of the Baquanic team. All right, 10 seconds to go. We'll see what Ramsey does here in the final seconds of the first half. They have a three-point lead. Four seconds. Veenstra for three. Can't get the go. Put back. Sancillo short at the buzzer. And a hard fourth defensive battle here in the first half comes to an end here in the North 1 Group 2 semifinals. Our score, it's the Ramsey Rams, the number six seed, with a 2017 lead over a second seed at Paquanic. We'll be back with third quarter action. Anthony's message is here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years. From the big banks where I thought I could get the best most competitive rate to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com.
Hi, I'm Rob Guswaller. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Our goal at Reiner Pump Systems has been to provide customers with the best quality pumps and packaged pump systems that have solved their water and wastewater problems. We have been successful at satisfying our customers through honesty, hard work, engineering, fair prices, and outstanding customer service. Our greatest asset are the people dedicated to make Reiner Pump Systems a leader in the water and wastewater marketplace. Reiner Pump Systems started in 1998 as a family-owned business and has grown into one of the most respected pump sales force in the Northeast and now Pacific Northwest. Our success has been nothing short of amazing. We are now considered by most the go-to pump house for replacement pumps, big and small. Reiner Pump Systems. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. The CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major hope. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, it helps them to get back to the sport that they love. 
We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue. It allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing excellent results with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field. And we're back here at Paquanic High School in Ponta Plains, New Jersey at Pac Paquanic High School. North 1 Group 2 semifinals live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Josh Willis. A great game and going on the road, the Road Warriors, the Ramsey Rams, as they knocked off Jefferson on the road to get here. Well, they have a 20 to 17 lead over the second seeded Paquanic Golden Panthers. Thank you for joining us here on a Friday night. Winner goes to the finals and they will play the winner of number nine Demers and number four Mala playing as we speak. Hey, we want to thank some special sponsors for getting this game on the air. And we will first off want to thank Ramsey Athletic Director Kevin Sabella, my old buddy. Please give him, uh, please thank him if you're a Ramsey fan for helping us to get this game on. Kevin's been great with us over the years, and as has Brian Celepena, the great athletic director here at Paquanic. Want to thank both gentlemen. Also, Green Nature is the company to call when quality matters. Green Nature Landscaping Design provides high quality landscaping and outdoor living design services to northern New Jersey. Go to greennature.net. IY Basketball, it's a shooter's world. Let's get after it. Let Kent personally help you become a great shooter. Text them today at 201-787-3004 to start the process. IY Buckets all day. Our friends at the Paquanic Deli right down the street. Fresh sandwiches and breakfast. We cater for all occasions. PaquanicDeli.com. Get a breakfast sandwich tomorrow, Paquanic fans. You won't be disappointed. Cole's Landscaping, your lawn shows your neighbors, friends, and family that you take pride in your property. Fortunately, we're experts in that field, and you know what? They don't mind letting you take all the credit. Go to coleslandscaping.com. And finally, the CeeLo Group. The CeeLo Group is thrilled to support the Paquanic Golden Panthers tonight. The CeeLo Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. To learn more, go to CeeloGroup.com. Going to bring in my partner now, Josh Willis. Josh, you've got some numbers for us. Sure do, Dan. Yeah, Ethan Sutherland for Paquanic. Six points to lead the team. He made two threes in that first half. Um, for Ramsey, Ramsey and Paquanic both scored seven points in the second quarter. Uh, very sl much of a slower tempo. Um, Connor Farrow had 10 of the 20 points for the Rams, including that three-pointer to end that first quarter. Really was a momentum setter early on in this game. He definitely has played very well. He made it 13-10 after one quarter. And as Josh pointed out, very evenly played second quarter. No one in foul trouble. Neither team got to the bonus. And a packed house, a raucous out on a Friday night. And you know, Josh, after no state tournament last year, this is great to see. I said it when we did the Paquanic soccer game. They support their sports in this town amazingly. I interviewed Jeff DeBell about it, the head coach. He's a Paquanic guy through and through, played here. They support all their sports, and they're really out tonight in force as are the Ramsey fans who made the trip down. And the big man, Riker, with the early bucket. Yeah, Dan, this is, this is very much a, a sports school. They love their sports over here in Paquanic, and, and these Golden Panther fans really came out to support their basketball team this evening. You said you got here like at 5.30 and there was a line already to get in. Yeah, there were, there were about probably about 45 Ramsey fans outside, not counting the Paquanic fans that were on the back gym door. There were probably at least... 50 or 60 kids at the time. And Ramsey slowing down the pace. We talked off air. We'll talk about it on air. I don't think there's a time all year where Paquanic was held to 17 points in one half. Listen, and, and anytime you're doing that um, as an opponent, you're doing something right on the defensive end. I mean, Paquanic can shoot the three like any team. Baseline jumper knocked down by Sancilio, and they're also doing on the offensive end by that very patient in their sets. And they're being very efficient on the offensive end. This is very much a Tony Bennett UVA style basketball game. They might not have a lot of possessions, but they make those possessions count in tournaments of points. Sutherland can't get the go. Put back no good. Great rebound pulled wow. down by Sancilio. Boy, what a board. 
Van well, Ventura will bring it up, skip pass, catch and shoot. Farrow, he's got 13. That's his third three of the game. Quick timeout. Timeout called by Coach Jeff DeBell as the score goes to 25-19. And again, what a season. One for the books for Paquanic. Looking to get back to the finals. They were last there in 2011, lost to Pascot Kills. They won the section in 2010, beat Indian Hills 76-62. That team had some great players, including the great Jordan Tabakman, who went down to North Carolina to play baseball. He was just a stud athlete. Kenny Brunda on that team as well. Uh, some other good players on that team. Uh, ben Cole, Joe Vertovino, Ryan Brogan. So, and a lot of those guys, Tobacco was a senior in 2010. A lot of those guys came back in 011, and they came up a little short against Hills. And we talked about Ramsey, unofficially the defending section champ since there was no tournament last year as they won in 2020. Led by Hanson and Jaden Quinterly, who is now a walk-on at Alabama. Wow, and all these fans, I mean, from both sides, from Ramsey and Bequanic, you said it before, after not having a tournament last year, uh, these fans are hungry to, to cheer on their squads, and it is really showing this atmosphere. It is electric. Well, when they met in soccer, Ramsey had a big victory up at Ramsey. It was a terrific game, and this one, another one between these two group two titans, two proud towns. They love their sports in both these towns. Yes, indeed. Both great in softball as well. Marianne Goodwin at Paquanic, Chris Caserta at Ramsey. Ramsey's several state titles. Riker's got four. Good defense by, really good defense. by Bernius. Riglioso going to try to dump it into the big man. That's going to go out of bounds. He runs into the official. And wow. again, the way Ramsey's controlled the pace, every possession is very big for Paquanic. I'm telling you, Mike Berrios played unbelievable defense underneath the hoop, to, uh, denying Rigogl uh, I'm sorry, Riker any sh any chance to get a quality look underneath the rim. Vainster swings it over, catch and shoot. Farrell try the other side. Riglioso skies for the board. He's going to look to push. Good defense by Farrell, having himself a game. Way to stop the ball. This is Finn Powers. Thought about it, now we'll take it and knock it down. Finn showing up those superpowers. There stop, you go. A stop and pop. You had that in your back pocket waiting for to use that, huh? Superpowers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of my Walt Clyde Frazier <laughs> superpowers. Makes it a 25-21 game. Powers knocks it down. Again, Ramsey's going to be patient. Five minutes to go. Here in the third quarter, trip to the finals on the line. This is Veenstra. Nice look inside, blocked oh. by Riker. Riker with a big denial. Back to Powers, and we'll have a foul on the floor. Good sportsmanship shown there by Stone. Mm -hmm. And even though it was a foul, that was a great job by Ramsey to get back on defense. Pekonic was looking to push, and Ramsey does a great job getting back on D. You got it. Pekonic was ready to go on a run out, and Ramsey stopped the ball. Uh, again, really good sportsmanship by both sides. They'll get Obviously it in. Now. Sutherland to the big man, and he gets hit on the hand. And he'll go to the line. Second foul on the Rams here in the second half, and it'll be on Lucas Sancilio, his first. Especially now at this stage of the game where no team, or no players in foul trouble make these guys earn their points. If they got a wide open shot, make them earn it from the line. Riker, back room is the first. And when you're his size, you don't bring the ball down. You keep it up high. You don't want to make everyone that's shorter than you become your height. You're, you've already got a height advantage. Take advantage of it. One or two. You got a substitution, a late substitution. Checking back in, number one, Robert First. And we'll, we'll see if Coach DeBell decides it's only a three-point game. Will he try to maybe do a little pressure, try to speed up the game a little bit? We'll see. They're playing good half-forward deep. Both teams are. 
You know, we talked about Ramsey's defense, but Kwame's playing great defense. Only given the 25. Sincilla pull up jumper, can't get the go. Tap back out. Left alone, Veenstra for three, can't get it to go. Riglioso with the rebound. And neither team is turning the ball over. It's been a very, very clean game on both sides. And Riglioso draws the foul. That's a great take by him. Getting the foul would be Bernius, number 42. Yeah, Bernius just got late. He didn't have his feet quite planted. He was leaning back. And that's what Paquanic needs to do. They need to attack the rim. They were settling for jump shots. And a great job by Riglioso, big physical kid attacking the rim. And jump shots is and jump shots is part of their game. And, you know, that's part of the book on them is they will shoot the three and they will shoot it with efficiency. But you've also got to get into your get into your bigger guys down below. Picking up the foul is Burrius, his second. Riglioso good on both free throws. We got a one point game, 25-21, as we approach the midway point of the third quarter. And the fans are getting back into this one, too. It was a little quiet for about three or four minutes. Big steal. Good hands there by Sutherland with numbers. They give it back to Sutherland. Wow. Coluco to him. Nicely done. And they take the lead, 26-25. And Ramsey's going to call a timeout. Look at that, how unselfish Paquanic has been down the stretch. And they, were, and they got caught on a run out. And Ramsey, there was no stopping. It was a two-on-one and Paquanic was able to take full advantage. I mean, the, the key to this Paquanic team all year is everyone fulfills their roles. They play well as a team. Tonight, that was like a little microcosm of it right there, unselfish. Listen, if each player, if you're the coach, you say, hey, everyone, do your job. Don't try and be someone who you're not. If you do your job, the rest will take care of itself. And, you know, and Paquanic has gotten, you know, right back into this game. They took the lead now leading by one point in the third quarter. Nice job by the Golden Panthers. And again, want to thank both athletic directors, Kevin Sabella from Ramsey and Brian Silipena from Paquanic, and uh, also the principal here at Paquanic, Mr. Hazler. I remember when Mr. Hazler was back at High Point as a student athlete a long time ago. No, not that long. I'm, I'm, I'm dating myself, but he's, he's a young man. I'm just an old guy. Paul, you disagree, our producer. You, <laughs> I told him he's got to look at my lights and see how old I am. And Paquanic has been unbelievable host today. Yes, they have. I, I mean, starting off, they gave us water and some pretzels and chips. Uh, you know, Dan, I left to the Doritos. I wasn't sure if one of the Doritos or the rolls, the rolled gold pretzels. This is true. You but. want good coverage, you feed the media. I've known that for a long time. All righty. Good timeout call by Coach Christensen as Paquanic retakes the lead. 3.45 to go, 26-25. Sincilio, leading scorer, kind of kept in check. Finn Powers doing a good job on him. And again, Riker's there. He's the roadblock. They that send it over to the corner. They're bringing it back out. There is number one, Robert First. First gets caught up in the lane, and we're going to have a foul on the floor. Well, they had a really couple of good uh, face cuts. Way to stop the ball on the uh, defensive end for Paquanic. But Paquanic picked up the foul. Picking up the foul for Paquanic is Carson Kaluko, the sophomore, his second, team's first. Rams on the inbound. Off the inbound, catch and shoot. Sancillo can't get it. Sutherland with the board. Paquanic looking to push. Sutherland puts on the brakes. There's about three guys with their arms up looking for the ball on that break. Listen, if you don't want the ball, you know, you should not be on the court. These guys want the ball on the big stage. And now the foul's starting to pick up here, and that's going to be an offensive foul on Powers. It looks like an illegal screen. Stuck his arm screen. out. It was on Riker. Let's see if they give it to you. Yep, on Riker, the big guy. That's his first, team second. Ramsey with three fouls as we approach three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, I believe Riker stuck the arm out a little bit with a little push off. Oh, inside. Reverse. Can't get it to go. Powers looking to push. And look at that defense by Ramsey. They stopped a potential fast break. Terrific defense up top. Very good recovery on both ends, offensively and defensively. They had a turnover waiting to happen in the backcourt. Another foul here. Fouls picking up here in the second half. Really no problems in the first half. 2.42 to go. Three fouls on Ramsey. Picking up the foul will be Vinstra, his first team's third. Well, that bodes well, Dan, for both of these two teams that no one's going to be in foul trouble late in the game. Kaluko will get it in to Riglioso. 
You got a hand checking. So the referees pull it a little bit tighter, but that's also a product of the defense. Teams were, Ramsey was playing a, a, a zone, and so was Paquanic in the first half. Checking back in for Ramsey, number 23, actually making his first appearance, Noah ID. Sutherland for three, back rims. I think Paquanic then is very content to play a more physical game because they've got those big bodies who can drive into the lane, kick it out to their guys to shoot the three. There's a jumper right there, rebound Riker. And that foul was on Vintra, and according to the scoreboard, that's number four on him. That can't possibly be. Riglioso goes glass. Yeah. Way to move without the ball. Received the ball right by, the, uh, right, right by that bottom block of that, um, that paint area. Was able to do a little teardrop right in. Sansilio with the drive, goes glass, tries to answer, tap back out. Good job by Ramsey to keep the offensive possession. That was a big back tap. Lost it. Here comes Sutherland. Looking ahead, look at the great hands by Sansilio. Boy, he Again, they stopped the fast break with their great athleticism. I'm telling you, they're fast. On the bounce, and they take the three, and they knock it down. Boy, I'm telling you, Ramsey has been so impressive. They have a really good first step on defense. They are reading passes like I've like better than I've ever seen a team this season. ID with with the three. They're looking inside to Riker and he draws the foul. That'll be on Noah ID. So that should be the fifth foul on the Rams. And that first on him. And that three by Ramsey halted a 9-0 Golden Panther run. Riker with front rim the first one. Checking in for Ramsey as well. Michael Stone will check back in, number two. I'm sitting there. They're going to do a substitution for the shooter. Riker. 1.20 to go. We're tied at 28. Trip to the section final on the line. Knocks it down. Well, I'm telling you, if Riker's not in foul trouble, I don't know how he can possibly take that man out. I he, think with 1.20 to go, give him a little break, get ready for that fourth quarter. Yeah, he must be gassed. With the score being what it is, you're up one. Let him sit. Ramsey hasn't been really... Taking a lot of quick shots, they take one there. Wow, he took that. He he, he took that one from from Tawako. This is Powers. Kaluko, no whistle, and they're going to say he lost the handle. And they're going to say it was deflected. Good job by the officials talking to each other. You got to get that call right. Three officials working the game, doing a nice job tonight. They've really called a very crisp game on on both sides. So Moskovitz in for Paquanic, big guy, number 33, short. Sensilla with a rebound, 45 seconds. He immediately slows things down. Yeah, a little short in that shot by Rigoglios. It didn't use a lot of leg on that one, front rim. Sensilio, they'll swing it over. Stone, back up top to Sensilio. They might hold for one here. And They've been not? averaging about 20 seconds per possession anyway, 25 seconds, maybe even more. And they're going to probably hold for one with 20 seconds to go. And they're trying to just milk those five-second calls, five-second dribbling calls. They do a good job bringing it back out. Nine seconds. Now they'll get into it. Sansillo, step back, getting a ah. piece of that with Powers. Three seconds. Good if it goes, and Ooh. it's off the backboard. Riglioso was all by himself under the basket. They were looking; he was looking for the ball, but they didn't find him. All right, three quarters in the back. A hard defensive battle here in Pompton Plains. It's the second seeded Golden Panthers with a 29-28 lead over six seeded Ramsey. We'll be back with the final quarter right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. 
Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. Back here at Paquanic High School, a jam-packed Paquanic High School, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with Josh Willits. Trip to the group, the North 1, Group 2 finals on the line. And second seed of Paquanic, the home team, with a 29-28 lead over Ramsey, the sixth seed. Veenstra with the take, can't get it to go. Battle for the loose ball. This has been a great defensive battle all game. And this is the score. Ramsey's looking to keep it in. Caluco's jumper, no good. Riglioso with the board. Brings it back out to Powers. Powers kind of forces it, but he draws the foul. And Dan, of, port, uh, of importance to know, uh, Ramsey's missed a lot of point blank layups. They could have probably had about easily about six or eight points uh, in just, just missed layups. Checking in for Ramsey, number 12, Logan Bond. Big body out there, and going to the line is Powers. Picking up the foul was number 23. Noah Idy, his first team seventh. So for the rest of this quarter and this game, Paquanic will be in the bonus. 30-28 our score, 31-28. And free throws down the stretch are going to be so, so huge, especially in a close contested game like this. And every foul now, Paquanic's going to go to the line. And that plays into the hand because they're a pretty good free throw shooting team. Sincille, great look inside, and finish from Bernius. Wow, he was, he had the defense draped all right and right the hoop, and he still got it to go, that was really impressive. Hey folks, look at the, both sides of the screen, you see the sponsors, Powers looks to answer, rims in and out. Rigolioso, another good offensive board, forces it up, battle for the rebound, and we'll have a foul. Actually, a jump Ooh. ball to Moskovich and Sancilio. Arrow will go for Quantic's way. But again, folks, the, all these sponsors on the left side of the screen, special sponsors for tonight. As you see them, Pequonic Deli, Coles Deli, CeeLo Group, Kent Coluco Shooting. We appreciate all their sponsorship tonight. And we got Ben Riker back into the game for Pequonic. Look inside, Riker Ooh. throws it down. Riker with the rim rattler. That'll get the fans going. He brought down the house with that one. Holy moly. We we'll have a foul on the floor. Only the third foul on Pequonic. We got the Pequonic fans tapping their heads, saying the ball on the dunk went out and hit one of the uh, Ramsey players in the head. Sutherland with the foul, his second. Good hands by Sutherland. You just sense a momentum change. It's especially coming out of halftime. Pequonic was a lot more aggressive and the, the physicality has, has definitely ramped up in the second half. Rams will get it back in. Sancilio will bring it up. This is the exact tempo Coach Christensen wanted from Ramsey. Sancilio's jumper no good. And Michael Bernius. And we're gonna have a foul. And that will be on Pequonic. That'd be on Picking up the foul Riker. is number 12, Ben Riker. Shot from the corner, no good. Offensive board, look inside, put back, and it's good for Bernius, and the foul. Uh, way to take advantage of the baseline, under, uh, the baseline uh, inbounds underneath the hoop. So picking up the foul, be Riglioso, his first team's fifth. 6-11 to go. 
Burgess can complete the three-point play. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down. Rigliosa will bring it up. And they'll get into the cable hands of Ethan Sutherland. Ethan Sutherland is such a good ball handler for this Pequon Golden Panther squad. Riker in the high post. Swings it back to Sutherland. This Ramsey defense has been impressive tonight. Been impressive all season, but really showing it tonight. I guess a high-scoring Pequonic team. Coluco loses the handle. You got Rigoglioso trying to, uh, got a post up underneath the hoop. Couldn't find him. One-point lead for Pequonic. 5.35 to go. Trip to the finals on the line. Sancilio with powers on him. Spreading the floor a little bit. Trying to create an open spot. Riker altered that. Doesn't go in, though, and he gets the board. Boy, that ball sat on the rim probably for a split second and a half. Powers off balance blocked by Bernius. Stone will bring it up. Skip it over. Good ball movement here by the Rams, and we'll have a foul on Powers. Mm. And that'll be the sixth foul on Baquanek. Not a bad foul. Ramsey will inbound. Needless to say, the fans don't agree with that call. Nope. <laughs> hey, if you're watching from outside, folks, thanks for joining us on the Morris Sports Sports <laughs> Network. It's a sellout crowd. If you're sitting in the car watching on your phone or your tablet, we're thinking about you. We're sitting outside the door. We got, yeah. we, got, we got students looking through the window. Good ball movement here. Vinch is so smart. He saw nothing there, kicked it out. Sutherland on Veenstra. Farrell swings it over to the corner. Stone. Little pull-up jumper. Rattles it home. Uh, way to go. Uh, way, again, way to move without the ball. Active, active eyes looking, uh, watching his defenders. Seeing they're slacked off. We got a timeout by Quantic. Timeout by the Golden Panthers as Ramsey retakes the lead. 34-33. And again, want to thank both athletic directors, Kevin Sabella from Ramsey, Brian Celepena from Pequonic. Want to thank you, thank Green Nature Landscaping. Go to greennature.net. We want to thank Kent Coluco. Let him personally show you become the great shooter. Text Kent at 201-787-3004. Start the process. I wipe buckets all day. Pequonic Deli right down the road. Fresh sandwiches and breakfast. We cater all occasions. It's pequonicdeli.com. Coles Landscaping, your lawn shows your neighbors, friends, and family that you take pride in your property. Fortunately, we're experts in that field, and we don't mind letting you take all the credit. It's coleslandscaping.com. And finally, the CeeLo Group. They are thrilled to support the Pequonic Golden Panthers tonight. The CeeLo Group provides engaging and thoughtful graphic design services for businesses. Learn more at CeeloGroup.com. So a timeout on the floor. And as a look at the Pequonic Huddle, Jeff DeBell, 300 wins. What a great job. He played for the great Jack Moran, who passed away last year. And as we said, a Pequonic guy through and through. They're having a great year. 23 wins. I think the school record is 24, I believe he told me. Pequonic would love to get a chance to tie that and break it. All right, out of the timeout. Coluco will inbound. They'll get it to Powers. And both teams look like they'll be in the bonus. 16, fa 16 fouls for the Panthers. Powers gets it to go. Wow, way to go. Powers just pulled right up to that free throw line. Had a clean look at the rim. That's his game. He can create his own shot. So we have a seesaw battle here in Pequonic. Great atmosphere for high school sports. Sancillo, and he traveled. Yep, didn't quite have his feet planted. Tried to pivot, keep the left foot on the ground, but the refs had none of it. Pequonic won the NJAC Independence Division handily, but they played a lot of great non-league games, including Mawa, and beat them. And they played all those great teams in the Morris County Tournament. They are battle also gives it up. Inside to Riker, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Veenstra. Let's see if he's going to attack or is he going to pull it back out. He's going to attack, and it works. Good job by Veenstra. Great job by Veenstra. 
to attack the rim. But like you were saying, uh, Dan, this uh, this Pequonic team is battle tested for sure, especially in the uh, Morris County tournament. Even with that loss to Del Barton, they've won 15 of their last 16 contests. They lost to Montville and they lost to DePaul before that game. Powers for a big three! And they retake the lead. Boy, Powers turned the power on in this arena. This place is this place is rocking with that shot. And Mark Christensen is going to call a timeout from Ramsey with 2.54 to go. 38-36 our score. Powers doing a great job with that three. And he has scored the last five points for the Golden Panthers as they have a 38-36 lead. And as we said, the finals be Monday, I believe, and that will be at the remaining higher seed. If Aquatic wins, it'll be here. I'm telling you, Dan, both these teams, where they're playing today, you feel horrible for whichever team does not come out in the winning end of this match. Both teams are really playing well, especially down the stretch. A very good defensive contest. Well, this is the game that Ramsey wanted. They, they got the score. They want to be in the 30s and 40s. Actually, I think if you would have asked him that Pequonic be only in the high 30s right now, he would have signed up for that, getting on the bus coming down from Ramsey. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is the game that Ramsey wanted to play. Can they finish it off, or will Pequonic battle through it and get back to the final for the first time since 2011? Feenstra gives it up, spotting up for the long jumper wow. and knocking it down, a big three for Ramsey. And that's coming off the bench, Noah Idy. Boy, what a really good drive and kick action. Trying to answer, put back Riker. We're gearing up for a fantastic finish here in Pompton Plains, Josh. Oh, oh yeah. One point game with 2.17 to go. Veenstra kicks it out. Ramsey a little bunch, now they'll spread the floor a little bit. Nice job by Veenstra, altered by the big man. And another missed layup. That's probably about five or six missed layups they've had. And I think a lot of that's because of Riker has been altering the shots. He might not be blocking them, but he's changing the trajectory and he, making these guys think about it when they go down low. He is the big man, and with good reason. Sutherland, little teardrop, can't get the goal. Put back Coluco. Oh, yeah. 42-39, 130 to go. Active hands, cleaning up the glasses. Coluco putting... Putting it right back in, Panthers up three. Sancillo. Gets stuck in the paint. Oh, great job, tough shot. Boy, that is, and you got a timeout, I guess, with Timeout uh, with on Ramsey. the floor, Sancillo with a terrific body control and get that to fall. 42-41 is our score. One twelve to go, a full timeout call by Ramsey. Obviously, they don't need the foul here. They can play good D. And they've been playing good D all game and all season. So even though they trail by one, I think you'll see Ramsey just ratchet it up defensively. And Pequonic, we'll see. I don't know if they'll try to hold it. That's a long time to hold it against in-your-face defense. I think you got to trust your defensive for Ramsey. And I think if you're Pequonic, you, you hold the ball probably for about maybe 10, 15 seconds, and then you're trying to work it inside. If you can't get that inside look, you, you look for a little bit of screen action, kick it out to the outside where you have your three-point shooters. This is a very good three-point shooting for Quantic Golden Panthers squad. Yep, that is a good shot for them, shooting threes. As you said, coming into this game, 188 of them. But again, you cannot understate the defensive job Ramsey did tonight. Win or lose, they had the game that they wanted to play tonight. Yep, they just didn't, you know, We'll see. They still have a yes. great <laughs> this game far from over. Oh, yeah. 112 to go. 42-41 our score. We'll see you out of the timeout. And Pequonic will bring it up. Coluco. I like this. Sutherland, not the main ball handler, but Powers doing a great job. Good defense by first. Power still has it. 
Good hands by Sansilio, and then we'll have a foul there. Mm. And a one and one for Finn Powers with 53 seconds to go. Boy, that was a tough foul. I, I guess what the referee saw is a little bit of a tripping, stuck his leg out a little bit. But he had Powers trapped by that. First picks paw. up the foul, his second. And Finn Powers will go to the line. One and one, eighth team foul on the Rams. And he calmly knocks down the front end. Two point game. And, they, and these are some pressure packed free throws in, in the latter stages of this ball game. He did that in the winner against Randolph in the semifinals at the Morris County Tournament. And he knocks down both. 44-41, three point game. Substitution checking back in, number 23. No ID. See, now if I'm Paquanic, you wonder why they take out Reichert at this stage of the game. But I guess what you're counting on is you're counting on Ramsey trying to take a three-point a, a, a three basket, not driving in. But they'll take advantage. And they'll let, let them take that. They're up by one now. 44-43. And Ramsey, uh, Paquanic's going to say, you know what? We're going to win this game on the free throw line. And why not? If you're Paquanic, you can make the free throws with, with the best. Big call of here, and it will be a turnover. Ramsey gets the ball back with 25 seconds to go. Wow. Paquanic wasn't counting on that. So Ramsey down one. 25 what? seconds to go. Heenstra will bring it up for the Rams. We'll see if we call a timeout here. Coach Christensen, or will he let this run down? I think he's going to let him play. Neenstra, Sunderland on him, they swing it over, Farrow for three, knocks Bang. it down! A huge three for Farrow! And it's a 46-44 lead for the Rams! What a shot by Farrow, he's been big all game! Boy, that's his fourth three of, the, uh, uh, of this contest, and he was cool, calm, and collective in the corner. He I couldn't mean, wait to get that off. Another nail-biting game for Paquanic than it was in the finals against Del Barton. But Ramsey, we talked about Del, uh, Paquanic being battle Texas. Ramsey playing in that tough big North Patriot with Pascat Kills and Mawa. They're battle-tested battle, battle tested as well. And they got the big shot, and farrow has been the man tonight. Boy, every game, seemingly, that mean you have covered has been, what, a, between three or four points? And we got another one on the on our hands tonight, but yeah, but you said it, Ramsey has been battle tested seemingly every game up and down their schedule from start to finish. And this is a proud tradition program, group two. We mentioned all the accolades, what they've done over the years. They are what you want to call the defending section champs winning it in 2020. All right, Paquanic down by two. Eight seconds to go. Who do you go to if you're Paquanic? You got several different guys, but Kaluko can create his own shot if he's out there. Let's see if he's out there. Guess he is. And he's not afraid of a big shot, neither is Powers. Three seconds. Powers going to have to shoot. Oh, off the back rim. Punched out by Vitra. And is that it? Are they going to wave that off? Does the buzzer sound? Yes, it does. Ramsey goes on the road and stuns number two Paquanic. 46-44, they are going to the section finals. What a finish for Ramsey. Holy moly, that was that was going from start to finish. But credit the Ramsey defense down the stretch. Ramsey really didn't give Paquanic any good looks at the hoop, forcing him into a really tough shot. So they will go on and play the winner of number nine, Demers, number four, Mawa. As they post the 46-44 victory, they will move to 19-7 as Paquani's great season will end at 23-4. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back hoping to have some post-game reaction right after this, live on the Morris Music Sports Network. To relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better.
Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. At CCM, County College of Morris, athletics are on. CCM Baseball. CCM's women's soccer, it's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball, it's on. CCM golf, it's on. Esports, oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCM, County College of Morris, go Titans. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. All right, we're back live here at Aquatic High School. A thrilling North 1 Group 2 semifinal. And the Ramsey Rams, the Road Warriors, go on the road again and get a big win. We're here with Coach Mark Christensen and Connor Farrow had the big shot, but first we'll talk to Coach. Coach, Ramsey back in a section final. No, nothing new there, but this is a completely different group than the last time, basically. Yeah, this is a completely different group. Um, you know, I was part of all the other sectional runs as the JV coach for so long, but um, I will say about this group, there's no, there's no quit in them. Um, we are a very strong defensive team, um, and that's kind of what's been driving us this far. Uh, it's, they're just they're they're all in. They they love to play with each other. They love to play for each other. Um, they are so coachable, and there's just so much effort for them. And I just I'm so proud of these guys, and I just love this group so much. Yeah, let's talk about the defense. You guys held a team that scored about 70 points a game to 17 in the first half. You told we talked before the game. You said we're going to go as far as our defense take us, let's take it to a section final. Talk about after that first half, you guys kind of knew we got these guys locked down. If we make some shots, we got a chance to win this game. 
Yeah, that was the biggest, uh, the biggest key coming into the game was tempo. Um, they are an outstanding team. They got four guys that can light it up at any moment of the game. And we just wanted to make sure that we held them to as least shots as possible. And they got the big kid inside that to clean up the glass for him. So our main thing was to try to keep him off the glass, um, try to limit them to one shot uh, per possession. And we really wanted to take our time and look for what we wanted to get. Um, and I thought we did a really good job of that tonight. I mean, they're scoring 67 points a night. And, you know, being able to hold them to, you know, 30 points less than that was, that was, it's really all the guys just, just locking in and just buying into what we wanted to get and really focusing on getting the good shot that we wanted. Connor, you know all about the tradition here at Ramsey. You probably watched the games as you were younger. You're putting yourself into Ramsey lore with that big shot at the end. Take us through what was going through your mind when you took that three. I mean, we, were, we ran 40, our normal spread offense, and I was in the corner. Our point guard, Vinstra, he drove in and he look, looked right at me, and I knew the ball was coming to me. I just pulled it. Coach mentioned it. Talk about how you guys play so well together, defensively and offensively. You guys don't take bad shots, and you stop all shots. Talk about that. Yeah, we just all buy in together. We're just a family, and we all have that, that chemistry together. It's been since day one, and there's no, no stopping us. Talk about going on the road. You guys did it in 2018. We talked when you guys, like we said, Jefferson doesn't like seeing the Rams come to town. Just talk about the mental toughness to go against this big crowd. Although you guys traveled well, you had a great fan support. Yeah, it's, it's hard traveling, and there's no doubt about that. You know, we come to another place, and we're like, we know that we can do what we want to do. And that's what we did tonight. Let's talk about your, your league schedule. We talked about it beforehand. Everyone that's still playing from their, your conference, talk about that. How it makes you battle-tested. Yeah, I mean, it really prepares us for this. Um, I mean, you got Pascac Hills, who is just, I mean, they're outstanding every single year. Um, they, they're, they're loaded. And, you know, it was unfortunate for them this year. They, you know, get a lot of injuries. Um, to some to their some of their main players, so you know losing them was tough um, for them in the states. And then I mean Mawas, Mike uh, Brand is doing a great job with them. Um, they're playing well. Westwood has done a, uh, an amazing job this year, and so is Riverdale. So really playing our league really helps us get ready for uh, for the state tournament. How cool is it? They didn't have state tournament last year, but in 2020 Ramsey won it. So you guys can have a chance to defend that title a year later. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun on Monday, and I'm sure we're gonna get it done. Well, guys, great job tonight. It was a lot of Thank fun you. watching you guys play. Appreciate Best of luck it. on Monday, whoever you play. Thank you. All right, that's going to wrap up our live coverage here from Paquanic High School. Again, want to thank Brian Silipena and Mr. Hazler, the principal here at Paquanic. Great host. We really appreciate it. want to thank Kevin Sabella, the AD from Ramsey, and our special sponsors, Green Nature. Go to greennature.net. Uh, Ken Caluco, text him today at 201-787-3004. Start the process. It's IY Buckets all day. The Paquanic Deli located right down the street. Great sandwiches. They cater all occasions. Go to quanticdeli.com. Coles Landscaping. Uh, Coles Landscaping, Landscaping.com, excuse me. And the CeeLo Group, proud sponsors of Paquantic tonight. We appreciate it. Again, great game tonight. Thanks for joining us. I want to thank my partner, Josh. I want to thank Santiago on the camera. Our great producer, Paul. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.